Today I'm going to show you how I take the watercolor tape off of my stretching boards using just a palette knife, a kitchen sponge devoted to only this purpose, a box cutter, a washcloth, again devoted only to this purpose, a bowl of water, and a metal ruler. That one is optional, it just makes cutting out your paper easier. And so I start by cutting my paper out of my tape. And it's pretty simple, you just line it up. Try to keep your ruler from moving, unlike what I just did. Usually I give myself a little more room to work, like you don't usually want your water right next to the painting, of course. But for purposes of this video, this is all right. Also try not to gouge into your picture. Okay, and then if I had actually cut that well enough, you should be able to, which is a no, you should be able to take your box cutter and lift up the corner of your paper. I have some spare room on the edges of this painting, thankfully, so I'm just gonna do it without the ruler real quick. But usually I like have to stand over this because my upper arm strength is not the best. But yeah, if you have to have really careful edges, you definitely want to keep using the ruler because you can see how lovely that looks. All right, there we go. And you stick that somewhere safe, done with the box cutter and the ruler. We can throw them aside. And the tape will be, um, the gum will be reactivated when it gets wet again, just like when we put it on the board to begin with. And so just kind of Puddle the water on there. And I usually do this outside. Like, I'll save up a stack of, like, 10 or 30 boards because I'm a slacker. And then uh, bring them all outside and put a shelf out in the grass so that, to set them on. And I'll work out there because it's so messy. Um, definitely don't work on nice furniture. If you have a very pretty heirloom kitchen table or something, this is not the place. <laughs> that's not the place for this. Anyway, there we go, and then you let it let it sit for a second. You can see it darken as it starts to reactivate. Then, usually I let it sit for a little longer. The longer you let it sit, the more it will start to loosen the gum. Um, you just let it sit too long, it'll start to dry back out. You just re-wet it. And spots where the tape is over itself or over paper will need more water. <laughs> I'm making such a mess. We'll need more water. And there we go. And because I'm impatient, I keep going. You can just let it sit, walk away for a couple minutes, and come back and then mess with it. The palette knife. Um, this is just what I use. I'm sure there's other tools for this. But I find that it just works really well to kind of dig into there in the edges where the tape is. And see, so this part is still dry. It's still a light brown. You want to re-wet, right? And you can see it's starting to come up. And sometimes I'll give a little squeeze on those corners and really, really get that to get saturated in there. Okay. And again, you let it sit for a few minutes. So we'll cut right now and come back in a minute. Okay, I think that's been long enough. So, now the reason I like the palette knife for this is because it's got a nice edge where you can just kind of, it takes a little while to get the technique right, but you can kind of just scrape that wet tape off of there. And you just go down the board. You try not to gouge your board too much. I mean, you, do, you can definitely see the cut marks are in it, but for this I try not to not gouge big old chunks out of it or anything. And it won't get all of it necessarily, and if that happens, you just go back over it again. Sometimes it'll come up in big pieces, and that's oddly exciting, I feel like. <laughs> oh, see here, and when you get to the corners, see there again, it's still not quite ready. So I'm going to mm, dig from, nope. Oh, there we go, there's nudge. You can also pull the edges. Ah, uh, yeah, see, there we go. And 
that is dry, so then squeeze my water out this time, and we'll put a little more on here. Let that side sit, and so we'll come over to this edge. And this one has a spot I can peel up. I mean, you see the idea, right? Like it's it's not not too challenging. You can wear gloves if you don't if you want. I mean, it does get you gluey, but not it it doesn't bother me, I guess. I sometimes will. There we go. And then just getting to the end of it here. So this part was sitting. Ah, and see how easily that comes up once it gets like all the way soggy and you still have to work the corners a little this is where I'll end up gouging my board sometimes because I'll catch it on the edge and then you have the stubborn little pieces that never want to come up sometimes there we go It's a lot easier if you move your board around too. I'm trying to keep it in front of the camera here so I'm not moving it around. But if you put it where your palette knife's coming towards you, you know, you can get better leverage, I guess. More water there. This one looks all right. We can do this part. Yeah, see how much easier that is going towards you? All right that part and I just kind of wipe it off and stick it on my pile you can't see the pile there's there's the lovely pile here you'll end up with a whole bunch of goopy tape mess but it, I don't know, it's not that bad as far as art projects go it's not that bad that little bit there I'll come back to get that one because it's sat now This one okay and so then it's looking pretty good and so we just take the palette knife like this and this is when I'll get my rag out because see the that's all the extra watery adhesive coming up there and so I just try to get whatever extra of that that I can there we go and that lets you get all those extra little bits of tape that have escaped too, or at least most of them. So then, the one last thing that I do is I'll take my sponge and we'll kind of, I rotate the sponge around. This is why I only use it for this, because it ends up so gross. But you want to follow the grain of the wood when you're doing this, um, otherwise it'll like tear little fibers up and your wood won't last as long for stretching as it could have otherwise and same thing with the grain um with your rag and yeah you can see how gross that gets there we go and that's that's it that's your board all done now it's time to do another painting